Alisa is a Mexican American artist, and she has at least collaborations in the community for a long time. But this particular gallery here, you can see the food pantry and the volunteers that are working in programs. And our program signs September 30th, and we finish this March. And you can see the work that they're doing, portraits. Um, the color, all of these techniques that she gave it to them, but they don't have any ideas for coloring and painting. But then, then you can see all what she does. Coming to the United States and, you know, like labor and how he's taught about in terms of his labor. And then his daughters, obviously, they speak much more English. They, they're not as fluent in Spanish, but they were telling me they're very good math students. Uh, and, and yeah, Veronica and Marisa have very different experiences that they always talk about pretty publicly. Um, and I, uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a space to share each other's stories very much. Once they reach a place where they're somewhat surprising, where they feel full, they're done. But it, these two took maybe five months from the start of the idea to the end, and then others might be a little bit faster. But usually, like for the small ones, a month or two, and but it's really hard. They, I go back and forth between all of them. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And for doing such an honor to our staff and to the pantry and to all the people who are here that work so hard and care for others. Thank you so much for caring for us. This series that I did here, um, I feel like kind of like also just a, a tribute to craftsmanship because my, my auntie Sheila, I think she's like 87 now, but she was a, a wedding dress designer. She designed uh, the cover for this ball and the, underneath are uh, prints of her, of her watercolor painting. She started painting watercolors when she was like 76. TV Sunday, the power of truth.